Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. You'll notice that my telescope is parked and it's been that way all week and it'll probably be that way for the next four or five days as well, unfortunately. We've just had some crazy windstorms all week long and I thought that I would just take this opportunity of downtime from imaging to talk about some of the other things that you could do in astrophotography. And there's one in particular thing, which is 3D printing. Now, if you're not into 3D printing, before you turn off the video or go look elsewhere, um, I, I just wanted to point out that there is a lot of cool things out there that you don't need to be able to, to print yourself or have a 3D printer or know anything about. The cool part is, is that a lot of these people who come up with these 3D printer designs also sell their own 3D prints to astrophotographers and they're not very expensive. There's just so many cool 3D print objects that you can do to really, really help your astrophotography out, uh, especially if you have a red cat. So for instance, my friend Luke from the Luke Amatico channel, he prints and makes his own uh, red cat Batonoff masks. They are so cool and they really do a much better job than the one that comes with it. Check this out. And I'm now gonna perform focus using the ASIS focusing tool itself, matched up with my own custom designed and 3D printed Binov mask. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you to check out Luke's video and his eBay channel where he sells the little Batonoff masks and he really sells them at a dirt cheap price. So uh, yeah, I was pretty shocked when I saw how low he was selling them for. So if you, you're in need of one, uh, check out his channel and his, his eBay. Another friend of mine, Dave from Dave's Astrophotography, had a couple videos on 3D printing as well, and he printed out a huge uh, Batonoff mask for his Edge HD 11. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description below as well, so you can check that out. All right, so here's the mask uh, that we printed out, and you can see that just the handles that I put on there just to help lift it off the routine. But 3D prints are being used all the time in our hobby, so you don't want to just turn yourself off to them if you don't have a 3D printer. Now my friend Glenn, of course, from the Astrobloke channel, uh, he had a buddy of his print out a 3D piece for him where he was able to get his electronic autofocuser to work on his RC8. To print off this, and what this does is actually fill the curvature up and give you a flat surface to mount on. This isn't essential, but it is actually uh, makes the mounting a much more uh, secure and professional job. So it is worth doing. Uh, attached to the RC8. Let me just show you a closer picture. And there you can see it all installed. So a while back I did a video as well on uh, a 3D printed part that I call the ZWO camera ring and uh, I'll link that video here. You could check it out but basically what it does is it protects your USB connectors and gives you some cable management as well. Now I didn't know at the time but there was a, a one of Isaac from Iceman Astro's channel uh, one of his viewers had sent him some uh, stuff for his red cat, which is a uh, part of a focuser and also uh, a camera ring. I don't know if that's what he calls it, but that looked really cool too. So not only do you have the option, if, if you can 3D print, I shared out my STL for the for my camera ring, but you gotta check out Nick's stuff. I'm gonna uh, show his Etsy page real quick, and then I'm going to leave a link in the description below to it as well. And he's got a lot of great things. He's got stuff for uh, the ASIR Pro if you use it, some other cable management stuff, and um, he's got his own version of a camera ring and his camera rings fit all kinds of different cameras. You just have to let him know what kind of camera you have. And uh, so I thought I'd mention him as well. So here we are in my covered patio, and this is where my EQ6 has been living since I got my Chem 120, and it's on the tripod, and I've got my Z81 on it. Now currently I've got my uh, 
2600 on this telescope because I wanted to test some stuff out. Unfortunately, I haven't had a clear night yet to do so, so it's just been sitting there. Ignore the back focus that you see here because it's nowhere near what it's supposed to be. I've just got the camera on there as a place to live and, and the scope and everything in here. But the reason that we're in here, I wanted to talk about um, one of my viewers, his name is Mario, and he sent me the really cool, this, the really cool device of the counterweight knob uh, that he 3D printed. And here it is right here, and I've left one on and one off to show you the difference. Here's the knob, his, here's Mario's knob, counterweight knob, compared to the stock one. And you can see there's a massive difference in size, and this one is just so much easier to grab a hold of and to turn, as opposed to this one where you gotta kinda get your fingers in there to turn it, and when it's really cold outside, um, it really hurts your hand. And this one's super simple, you can grip it with the palm of your hand. And uh, so I, I did want to point that out. Now, Mario asked me if I would check him out and if I liked them to give him a shout out. Well, I want to tell you, Mario, I love these things. They are awesome. I think they're almost a must have if you own an EQ6. Uh, I'm going to leave the, the link to where you can find these in the description below. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to Mario. Thank you so much for sending me these. I really do appreciate it and I really do like them. Um, he actually sent me three pair, and I only need one pair. So I'm going to send one pair to my great friend Glenn from the Astro Bloke channel so that he could also check them out and, and maybe give a review if he wants to. Um, and then I've got one pair left, and I am going to do some kind of a contest in the next week or so. So be looking for that, and I will send the lucky winner uh, a pair of these as well. In the meantime, um, go check out Mario's site and, and grab yourself a pair because um, they are really, really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other one on. He sent me um, three pair of one green and one black to match the EQ6 green. And so I'll show you real quick how I put these on. Um, I just used the back of this uh, rubber ratchet, but you know, if you have a rubber mallet, that's preferred. Um, I kind of destroyed mine the last time I used it. So right now this is what I have to work with. But they're, they go on very tight so they don't slip off. And there's no screw or anything. You just take your, your rubber mallet and, um, or rubber end of your tool and tap them on. And that's it. It's on and these are great. I love them. In one of Chuck's videos I saw where he had accidentally stripped this and he had uh, purchased a 3D printed knob for his altitude control. And this thing really is awful. And I think just about everyone hates it. It was a poor design. And so I went ahead and went to where he purchased his. And I didn't purchase it because the gentleman also has the STL file on there. Um, so he gives you the opportunity to either purchase it if you want to, or you can download the STL file for the print and print it yourself. So that's what I did, and we're going to test that out today as well. Now on Chuck's video, he really liked his, which is why I went ahead and, and printed this out, because I, I'm hoping that I really like it as well. So we're going to set this here, put this on. And he did mention in his video that it was that he had to tap this on as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get that my makeshift mallet again. All right, then put the screw back in, and we'll we'll give it a test. Oh yeah, there we go. And now I get the repolar line, but. That's okay, I had to anyway. Uh, that's very nice. Okay, so so far I'm really liking this as well. I'm gonna put a link to this and uh, so that if you are interested in that, you can find it as well. You could either print it out or you can purchase one from the gentleman who makes these as well. So I just wanted to mention one more time Mario because he also sent me this really cool ZWO camera protector sleeve. Um, he 3D printed that and sent it to me as well. Now I think he got this off of Thingiverse. They look really cool and they feel really cool too. 
he he's must have his uh, 3D printer really dialed in. I mean, you get just the finish on it doesn't even seem 3D printed, to be completely honest with you. And uh, I'm going to go test this on my 294 later and see if my, my camera ring will still fit after I put this on. But I wanted to mention that um, for me, I don't know if I would use these just because my cameras are pretty much always in the observatory. And so I don't really run a risk of scratching the finish on them or anything. But I'll tell you what, if you're going out in the field and you're, or you're setting up and tearing down every night and you're taking that camera on and off or you're gonna throw it in the travel bag or something to go uh, on location to a dark site, these things seem really cool. Um, yeah, probably really great to have to protect the finish on your camera, especially if after a couple of years you decide that you wanna sell your camera or something. These things look like they could really, really protect your, your camera and your equipment. So I just wanted to show this as well, and thank you again, Mario. I am going to test this out, and, and uh, I might even leave it on there. <laughs> thank you. Well, I hope you found this video useful or entertaining in some way. Um, if so, don't hit like and don't subscribe. Instead, go down to the description below and check out some of these great resellers and, uh, because these guys are really helping our hobby. They're really helping in so many different ways. Um, it's just the, the creature comforts, like, like these knobs. They're amazing. And now that they're on, I'm going to keep them on, and they're never coming off. And I never have to hurt my fingers anymore on them. The same with this knob in the back here. Um, I don't think you can see that in the frame, but, you know, it's, it's just the altitude knob now is so much nicer to use. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much, everyone who let me put this in the video and thank you so much for coming up with these creative designs and great ways to help further our hobby. I really appreciate it and we'll see you all in the next video.